Hi everyone, Dr. Victoria Skirbo here, speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. And um, it's been a couple of days since uh, Super Tuesday. It is now uh, Super Friday. <laughs> and uh, so I've had some time to digest uh, what occurred. Um, I can tell you that uh, I underestimated the savviness of the uh, establishment, um, the democratic establishment. They really do know how to uh, manipulate <laughs> and uh, they're really good at timing. So that being said, I sort of wondered about my reading um, that I did on Super, uh, before Super Tuesday, about Super Tuesday. and. Um, the cards that came up for the different candidates, um, just the general reading, there was all, there are pentacles all over the place. And, um, and of course the pentacles are the influence of money and the outcome was the 10 of pentacles. And, um, I, I believe that the 10 of pentacles is the money that backs the establishment. Now, who is the establishment? According to Joe Biden, the establishment is the regular people who, you know, want stability and, you know, whatever that he represents. Um, however, that is not the establishment. The establishment are the donors and the money that backs uh, the candidates and uh, sort of more in a corporatist sense as in Bernie Sanders' uh, campaign, is, is a populist campaign, as was Trump's um, a populist campaign. And all you really have to do is look, look out around the world and see how people are living and how people are um, um, fighting the established order. Okay? So there are a couple of things... Uh, so then I, I looked at each candidate and the cards that came up for each candidate. And um, you can go back and look at that reading. Um, but Joe Biden's card were, were especially troublesome. They were, he had the nine of, of swords as the first card. The nine of swords is, is insanity and anxiety and disruption. Uh, he did have the three of, of cups right in the middle, which is a victory, sort of a celebration card. The last card was the seven of swords, and the seven of swords came up in the immediate environment of the general reading as well. And the seven of swords is, you know, there's a fox in the hen house. There's something that's not right. And while I didn't say there was a dirty trick, and I don't want to sound like, Oh, well, you're the candidate you liked didn't win, so obviously you're going to blame it on something else and not on the strength of the candidate. I do feel like there were some things amiss, and that may or may not come up. We may, may or not ever find out about that. So where we stand now is that um, Joe Biden has um, more delegates than um, Bernie Sanders, but not by a lot. Um, and I really feel like uh, Pete Buttigieg, especially backing him, really helped him. I don't think Amy Klobuchar as much because she just didn't have as many um, people as Buttigieg uh, supporting her. So, so what it feels like to me is that uh, Biden had the black vote, okay, um, for whatever, you know, however he, however that works. Um, and Buttigieg, I think, had the white vote of the people who wanted just a little change. <laughs> they wanted somebody who was a little different than, this, than, than Biden, but had sort of the same values as Biden. And I think that was a real boost because I think what Buttigieg brought into Biden's campaign was the white vote, actually. Now, I want to say this up front. I am not by any chance a pundit, 
these are just feelings and uh, feelings that I have. I am somewhat, <laughs> I am somewhat <clears throat> informed about this stuff. And what it seems to me is that there was a choice uh, for many people to choose from a place of heart or head. And I think this time head, head won out. That's what I think. Now, that does not mean that it will ultimately win out, and it does not mean that Bernie Sanders can't still have the nomination. But I think now we know uh, truly, truly what we're against, and perhaps Bernie does uh, know what he's against. I think in theory he knew, but in in uh, now he's really, I think now the campaign is really feeling it. And I think that it's going to make a big difference when we get to the middle of the country and we see what they have to say about things because a lot of the problems in the middle, uh, middle of the country, places like Michigan and Wisconsin and uh, Pennsylvania, uh, suffers suffered more from the corporatist Democrat uh, and corporatist Republican policies than maybe any other place in the country. So it's going to be interesting to see if Bernie can um, if Bernie can take the sword because he, in his reading, he got um, oh goodness, what was his reading? The middle card was the Ace of Swords, so he didn't have bad reading, but it, but there was this this Ace of Swords, and there was also a was it a, there was a Four of Cups in his reading, which, which talked about uh, disappointment. And yet the Four of Cups is generally, if you look in front of you, there's disappointment. But if you look up, there's opportunity. And so this is an opportunity actually for him to take up the sword, the Ace of Swords, and really fight. He is a very kind, loving, and compassionate guy he doesn't like to really, I don't really think he, he likes to hurt and wound, um, but it may take that and it may take a uh, sort of a wounding of this veneer or this, this story about Joe Biden and who he is and what he stands for. He needs to, he needs to prick the bubble, so to speak, uh, with the sword and bring Joe Biden down to earth and bring him to to bear for his policy decisions, and I think that that Bernie can do that. Uh, will the will the uh, media uh, actually show that? It's hard to say. Probably not, because they have so much invested. But what I would like to do now, and these again are just, you know, I've sort of been sitting with this whole thing and ruminating, trying not to get too. Um, too depressed, quite frankly. Um, but if there's anybody used to uh, not getting anything handed to him, it would be Bernie, I would say. So uh, we ha we can't lose hope yet, guys. Um, and we can, um, again, what I think is telling for, I you know, I do watch other readers and see what they have to say. Most readers can't come up with a winner. Okay, most most readers can't. It's as as if uh, we're not. We it's not about us knowing. And the reason for that is that we're creating our reality as we go. This is this is not a done deal. We have the power to influence, and um, it's more about really energetically seeing and visualizing the outcome that you want and then taking the actions to get there. And so we need to, we can't lose hope. We can't lose, um, you know, whoever it is that you, that you want to see, you have to picture them in. And, uh, at the same time, this is a time of truth. This is a time when the veils are lifted from what is or what has been and people will be held accountable. So 
I would say that that is something that we have to be aware of as well. This is an uncovering. And we'll either uncover it now or it will be torn asunder later and things will be uncovered then. So I always felt like, uh, you know, we're given opportunities to heal. We're given opportunities to, um, to move on, but we will, um, you know, sometimes we, we're too afraid to, 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 to make the different choice because I, it's, perhaps things aren't bad enough for, for people. So one other thing I wanted to mention, um, actually two astrological things on super Tuesday, uh, Bernie Sanders chart was not being activated. Uh, there were some things going on, but nothing was, nothing was very exact. And usually when there's fateful, fateful times or fateful incidents, something hits the nodes, right? And there was nothing hitting Bernie's nodes, but there was Mercury retrograde was exactly on Joe Biden's south node. He has a south node at zero degrees of Pisces and uh, Mercury retrograded back to that degree and now has retrograded further into Aquarius and eventually will come back over that degree. But because it was Joe's south node, it was his past and his past connections that uh, I think brought him to brought him the victory, but Mercury was retrograde, and I feel as though, on some level, this could be his his time, his big time, and like it was like the past came in to support him, but beyond that. At the um, at the time of the uh, the actual presidential um, in in no November the presidential election his his chart isn't good uh, Bernie's chart is activated which is interesting um, but I do have to look at the time of the uh, nomination because that is really when the rubber's going to meet the road. If it if it ends up being Bernie and and Joe, right? So I haven't looked at that, so I will look at that, and uh, maybe I'll do a separate video on that um, with the charts, so so we can take a look at that, and I'll show you uh, Super Tuesday as well. So th those are just some astrological things I wanted to mention. So let's do um, we're going to do a reading for um, what's ahead for Bernie and what's ahead for Joe. So let's do Joe first because he does have more delegates. So we'll, we'll do the, the person who's up front first. And um, the only other person who's still in the race is Tulsi. And uh, Liz Warren hasn't decided who she's backing. I couldn't do a reading on that too. I might do that as separate reading because there are a lot of things to consider with Liz. What she's going to choose. Is she going to choose to... Uh, align with the pro her progressive side, or is she going to uh, align with the the opposite of that in an attempt to still make uh, her mark? Because I do think she's um, she does want to do something good for the people, um, but I do I don't think she's above throwing Bernie under the bus for her own, uh, for her own ends, uh, which may be altruistic. Um, you know, she's talking or talking to herself that it's altruistic, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. All right. So this is Bernie, 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 Bernie. Oops. Okay. So this is the first card that came up for Bernie. And this is, it's the two of wands. And when I see it in this deck, I always think, eh, heads coming together. It's coming together. So I feel like there's a rethinking. I feel like there's a, uh, a balancing and a look at how to utilize the base in, in a more, um, 
directed way. There's, there's, there's going to be a, a little bit of a new focus, I think, with Bernie. Okay, let's see what else, what else is coming. It's like heads are coming together, new ideas are coming in. They're going to build on what they already have, and they're going to look further afield for ideas. Bernie, 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 Bernie. Oh. didn't pop out. Oh, here we go. It's popping out. So we have the, the Nine of Cups. This is a wish card. Let's just keep going. And we have we have the Six of Cups. This is uh, the grass roots, this is the tree roots, this is the depth. Um, there's a there's a, a, a network and a depth that he can draw from. And I feel like it's interesting because this card, the roots are actually bigger than the tree. And he's always said, not me, us. And so I think that this is... Um, This is a real sort of call to action to all the little rootlets that he, uh, that sort of this, the, these last, uh, what is it, three years uh, have, have developed over the last three years, right, since he, he ran in 2016. We have the Tower card, which is a breakthrough. Uh, break down, perhaps. Um, so I'm not sure what this means yet. Let's let's keep going. Let's see. Let's see what the last card is. Because we have the roots in this tree, and then we have the tree getting hit by spirit, or by some sort of sudden sudden out of nowhere energy okay we have the daughter of wands this is messages this is a page of wands There is a sense of, you see there's a, a, an infinity symbol here. Um, and there's growth. There's growth. Huh. All right, let's see. I'm going to read this as a Celtic cross then. Okay, 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 okay. I see this. All right. So as a Celtic cross at the moment, because um, I was just going to do five, just pull five cards, but it's not, it's not coalescing into a reading. But when you put this in the order of this Celtic cross, so right now we have heads coming together. Uh, what's crossing it is getting your wish fulfilled. What's at the root is deep roots. What's in the past is a tower moment. The, 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 the campaign had a tower moment. What's in the sky? Messages of renewal, new messages, uh, a change in, perhaps a change in messaging uh, that's, that's still, uh, that's still, um, in alignment with the messaging that that's come before, but there's a new opening. There's a new, um, this, this Lambda, oops, sorry. I'm sorry about this. I'm getting excited. So I don't know what I'm doing. Um, we have the infinity, but it's opened up here. No, here, sorry, here on this side. So there's a new opening, a new idea, something, um, something new being born. All right, let's see what the immediate future is for the Sanders campaign. 
And then we'll do uh, Joe. Let's see what Joe comes up with Joe. Still can't get over those terrible cards he had, and then he's still sort of one. Maybe that nine of uh, swords was, was, you know, focusing on um, the fear of change or something like that. Okay, so we have the, <laughs> we have the devil with his feet on fire. Um, I see this as the grassroots um, putting the putting the, the establishment's feet to the flames. That's what that looks like to me. Um, so I, I also see there, um, you know, continued attacks, continued attacks, but the fire is lit. It doesn't matter. That's not going to go out. Things are going to change. The question is how soon, how it's seen from the outside, uh, sort of rising up again. There's, there's, a, there's a sense of rising up, or so maybe there's a hope for rising up from outside of, of uh, our country. Because I always feel like what, how it's seen from the outside. You know, we're in it, but the rest of the world isn't. They're just watching. Okay, we have uh, the domestic situation. We have the two of swords. So I feel like we're still locked. There's, it's still very, very close. Okay, hopes and fears. Um, the son of swords uh, attacks. <clears throat> attacks. That's uh, a hope and a fear, perhaps. And uh, let's see. Outcome, outcome, outcome. Oh, Jesus. Oh, wow, this is cool. It fell to the floor. It falls to the floor. It comes to the door, right, folks? Jumped right out of the deck. The ace, of, the ace of wands. So that's very positive. That's very positive. That's very, very positive. Let's see if we can pull a major arcana. So uh, new starts, new beginning, new hope. Hope is not dead yet, folks. Hope is not dead yet. We are really moving. We are really moving through. Um, we're really moving through some pretty heavy duty energy. And uh, March, in fact, um, this March is going to be very, uh, especially the third week of March, it's going to be a lot of changes and a lot of shifts. So we'll see what that means. We'll see what that means. I'm sorry. It's just taking so long. These cards are not cooperating and I want to give them the time to cooperate. I don't want to be picking. I want them to speak to me, speak to me, speak to me. Do we have a major arcana? Do we have a major arcana? <sighs> Son of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. Jesus. And the eight. No. No, no. Sorry, guys. Everything just flew out of my hands. <laughs> and I get the seven of seven of pentacles. Um, so no major arcanas. Um, so again, this looks like um, he's going to continue to get uh, money help. Um, and there's still hope, but um, it's not completely ready. It's not things are not completely ready now. Does that mean we're not ready for Bernie Sanders' presidency? It's possible, um, it, or it could just be that it's not quite. Um, things are not quite aligned yet. Okay, so I'm going to use a different deck for Joe. Let's see, which deck do I want to use? Let's use the uh, Rider Waite, because I have to have it right here. Because this, this reading is already 24 minutes long. <laughs> you know, we don't like them too long. This is like my original deck. I think I've had this deck for maybe 30 years, so it's pretty well worn and easy to shuffle. Okay, here we go. All right, this is Joe. This is his victory. 
will do a, a Celtic cross on Joe. That's his victory. So he is victorious. He's sort of in the limelight. He's just loving life. Things are good for Joe. Let's see. What's crossing that? Okay. Um, people are not finished fighting this. People are not finished fighting this. Uh, just what's at the root? He's he's not. While he has victory, there is still a lot of fight out there. Uh, forward motion. There's a sense of fadedness here. Moving forward. I feel like this is exactly as it's supposed to be working out. That's what that card says to me. That there's, um, yeah, it it definitely felt like there was some some something was at hand here. Now you know, of course, we maybe think that it's um, you know some nefarious thing. Just be fate itself. <sighs> Goodness gracious, I'm sorry, these cards are not cooperating today. Again, I don't I want to give them the opportunity to express themselves without me. Okay, what's in the past? We have uh, actually it came up like this: justice upside down, a balancing of the scales. Could have been injustice in the past. In the sky. Oops, sorry. Dirty tricks. Dirty tricks. Yeah. That could also be Trump in the immediate future. The Four of Cups. So there's some disappointment. Um, that's that. Um, Five of Swords, that could be Trump looking to get dirt on Biden. That could be that. Um, or it could be Biden's own uh, dirty tricks being exposed. But um, the immediate future with that Four of Cups shows a little bit of a, of a divine discontent. There's a divine discontent. Okay. How it's seen from the outside. Here's more attacks, more attacks. Okay, domestic situation. The Knight of, the Knight of Cups. Mm -hmm. Idealism. There's a, 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 a an illusionary quality oftentimes to the cups, to the Knight of Cups. It's like they see what they want to see. So there's the energy of seeing what we want to see here. Oh, God, come on, come on, come on. Show me, show me, show me, show me. Hopes and fears. The two of wands. Two of Wands is a hope and fear. All right, this is the outcome, guys. Come on, oh, okay. We could get one. Judgment. Waking up. Now, what does that mean? Well, are we going to wake up to the truth of his record? Are we going to wake up? Are we going to make a judgment? This card, to me, tends toward the waking up to the truth aspect of things. Um, but because it's a major arcana, and I feel like there is something larger at hand here. Um, I feel like there's something larger at hand. And this isn't necessarily 
a, a negative that he will not prevail, but it's not a positive that he will prevail. I, I don't think that, um, this is what it feels like to me. It feels like one way or the other, whether we get Bernie in or we get Joe in, we are coming up to an awakening where we have to wake up out of our slumber. Now, for many of us, we are already awake, <laughs> but a lot of people are not. And that and that's what this is going to do and how how much uh, it's going to take for us to wake up as a country. How much pain are we going to have to maintain or or withstand or continue to withstand um, really depends on how asleep we are. So um, it looks to me like there's going to be a new uh for at least for the for the for the Bernie campaign, the Sanders campaign, there's a new uh, new energy coming in, a lot of sort of positivity for the future, but not necessarily a guarantee of winning. And for Joe, there could be winning, but it's but in that win, if in fact it is a win, and I'm not definite and sure that it's a win, there's a wake up call for America. So that's what I want to say. I don't think I made it I, again. I don't think we can say who's going to win because we are co-creating as we go. And so if you want to see your candidate win, co-create it, co-create it with the universe. Do what you need to do. Don't listen to the pundits. Don't listen to what they're saying in the media. Um, follow your heart. Look inside. And I think that Biden's uh, upsurge was a was a choice of head over heart. And quite frankly, I think that is um, not the direction we need to go into. I think we need to go by our heart. But of course, that's the kind of person I am. And there are those who would vehemently disagree with me. <laughs> so have yourself a great day. Like and subscribe. I hope this gave you some um, perspective and just a, a, an opening of some sort to sort of understand what we're, what we're in at this time. Again, I don't think anything is written in stone. I think there's always an opportunity for changing and shifting, and it's going to be up to us more now than ever. So uh, visualize what you want, guys, and you will get it sooner or later, but you'll get it. Take care. Bye.